What does Elon Musk, Kevin O'Leary and Michael Saylor all have in common? They all invest the profits that they make from their business into stocks, bonds, real estate and yes of course, crypto. In this video, I'm going to show you how a normal person can make money online and invest the profits. Even if you have no skills, job or experience whatsoever. And no, I'm not saying that you're going to become the next billionaire. But I am saying if you can make an extra few grand a month, it can go a long way towards building a profitable portfolio. And in the last six months, I've seen normal people make 15, even 30 grand using these exact same strategies that I'm about to show you. Now in the past four years, I've gone from a dead work uni student at Leeds Beckett University, losing my job, my parents kicking me out, going into complete isolation during the mask era, and I managed to make it out using these exact same skills too. Now, I travel around the world, I do pretty much whatever I want to do, and I make money from different business ventures, and I invest the profits. I don't make as much as Michael Saylor, but I have made a few million dollars with this exact same strategy. So let's get into it. First, I need to give you some ground rules. Number one, from my own personal experience, making money requires some level of action. I know we all want to see the laziest ways to make money online or different passive income schemes, but to get that machine going requires some level of base effort and sacrifice. You have to be willing to want to change your current situation and really work hard to do so. I remember sticking post-it notes all across my wall, isolating myself in the room, and completely locking in, but it only took me a few months to get completely out of that situation and really turn my life around. Because at the end of the day, what is there to lose apart from the potential life that you could be living by having a little bit of sacrifice. You know, short-term sacrifice can lead to a long-term life of success, taking care of your friends, your family, and living the life that you truly can and deserve to live. Number two, when I started out, I didn't have a job whatsoever. Dead broke, I was minus 1,500 pounds in my bank account. I was still at uni at the time, but I decided to get three part-time jobs. Now you can do this on any jobs website, go on the jobs website, look at part-time jobs and just apply for all of them. I did pot washing, delivery driving, sports car, sales events, photography, literally everything I could do to make some spare income on the side to help me at least have a baseline level to invest into other side hustles, business ventures and whatever. Yeah, it's going to take your time away from your family, from focusing on your business of course, but Having that guaranteed paycheck coming in every single week can be the difference between survival and thriving. Of course, it's possible to make money without having a job. But for me, I always felt an inside pressure and some kind of lack of self-belief when I would always try and start businesses without having any money in the bank account. It felt like I needed to start this business for survival rather than starting it for obviously a passion or some type of actual interest in business itself. I was starting this business because I was like, right, I need to make money this week. I need to make money next week because I have to do this. And of course, it never worked because I wouldn't put in as much effort into the business itself. I would half ask certain things and I would pick whatever was the fastest way to start making money. And number three, please, when you start making money from this, because it really does work, don't get complacent. The amount of people I've seen make one, or two thousand dollars and then decide to you know completely u-turn what they're currently doing or move on to other business ventures or get complacent is insane even i did the same thing i made one or two grand working online and then before you know it i was the big boss i was walking around like a true business owner i had ceo in my bio everything and you can guess what happened i lost all my clients and i had to go back to level one and start all over again and i did this multiple times and what I've learned is that there's a reason why all of the greats practice the basics. You see Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant will constantly take the same basics. They'll do the same basic drills. And that's because just like business, it's all about the fundamentals. So I've broken down the path to success down to five basic levels. Just like a computer game, sometimes you're going to have to level up. But if you try to skip the queue, and jump to level five when you're only a level one, it can be very challenging. You might still win, but that final boss is probably gonna knock you right back down to game over and starting all over again. I've personally tried to skip the queue so many times, I found myself going back down to level one again, just like that incident where obviously I signed that client and I completely flopped it. 
So let's get started off with level one. I call this level dead work. I had minus 1500 pounds in my bank account. I was in pure survival mode. I was about to drop out of uni because I failed my second year twice and I didn't know what to do. Just like anybody else, I went online and looked at the top five ways of making money online. I tried Amazon, dropshipping, affiliate marketing, OFM. Yes, in 2019, I was trying OFM when it just first came out and none of them worked. Most likely because of my own personal mindset. And like I said, I was in that mode of survival. I had a zero level skill tree. I didn't understand sales, marketing, business, managing my finance, mindset, how to build sales funnels, nothing. But I did have the hunger and drive for success. You might be in a similar position. So here's how you complete this level. I found a hack called arbitrage. Now you don't need no money to start. And I personally call it being on the money frequency. You see, one man's trash is another man's treasure. And no matter where you are in the globe, there is somebody throwing something away that is of value. Now I had to lower my pride and ego, go onto websites like Gumtree, Facebook Marketplace, Spock. I don't even know if that app's even around anymore, but any marketplace website whatsoever. And I filtered everything by zero. I learned this strategy by a multi-millionaire by the name of Ecom King, shout out Camille. And I actually ended up working with him in the future, which we'll get onto later on in the video. Crazy story. But by filtering products into free products, I found tons and tons of different ways of making money. I found fridges, right? I dragged the fridge at uni, right? Down the street, almost a block away. And I wheeled it all the way to my gaff. And I listed it from Gumtree to Spock for 40 pounds. I also looked online for any other free product and day by day, I would find free stuff online, store it at the house. It might take a week, two weeks, but I managed to sell them for profit. There is also another strategy, which I told my little cousin, and he's now making about a thousand pounds a month at the moment at the age of 16. And you can arbitrage products from Facebook marketplace over to Amazon or Amazon to eBay and all types of different ways you can do this. Now, if you are doing arbitrage where you're listing products from one marketplace to the other, that could possibly be a level two because you will have to pay. And my cousin has been in some instances where he can't afford to pay for the products or he might not be at that level of skill where he understands about finding suppliers and he might sell a few products where he's ended up going into backlog a lot of times because the supplier runs out of products and he don't know how to find another supplier yet. So I personally recommend starting off with a dead broke level one skill getting rid of the pride and ego, which I completely understand, and putting in that grind and hard work, finding products for free and listing them out. I also personally picked up some side jobs as well, because at this point, if it's the absolute priority for you to make money, I recommend picking up some side income jobs, whether that's part-time, full-time, whatever. I didn't have the pleasure of picking a full-time job. I applied for Apple, didn't get it. I applied for Audi, didn't get it. Lidl, didn't get it. I didn't get no full-time jobs. I ended up working for different agencies like Michael Wisher, for example, in the UK. I worked as a salesman for Google. I would sell different Google products and everything part-time. And I would do any way to make money on the side. I also obviously had full-time studies, family commitments. I played rugby professionally full-time. So honestly, you can make it work if you just prioritize your time and you really do want to get out of your situation. Remember, level broke is about understanding where you're at and really deciding to want to push to move forward. It can feel like there's no opportunities. It can feel like the world's against you. But trust me, it ain't. The sad truth is, is that nobody cares about you. And for you to get out of your situation, you got to start taking your energy from what you're putting in other people and start putting that energy into yourself. Now, once you complete that level, next is level two. I call this movement from surviving to thriving. Now, with the rise of people getting fired from their job inflation everything is becoming more and more expensive i decided to pick this level when i was at the stage where i had only a few extra hundred pounds a month for my side jobs from my hustling on different uh, free websites i had a little bit of money on the side but right? i also even decided to do taxi driving where i would go and get petrol from scrapyards when they would get rid of the petrol before they scrapped the car and I would resell that to my friends and I would also use the spare petrol to drive around university or a snapchat which was called Ty's Taxis. Now I have came back to level two multiple times so don't be afraid if you're at this point where you are a few hundred pounds a month 
and you're struggling to move forward. Believe me guys, there's nothing at level 4 and 5 that you can't skip to because 80% of lot of your winners go broke within the first 3 years and that's because they got fast tracked to level 4 and 5 and they didn't have level 1 and 2 skill sets so it's okay and most of the world is here right regardless of what you see on Instagram trust me most of the world is still at level 2 now with a few hundred pounds I tried Amazon FBA affiliate marketing forex crypto penny stocks you name it i tried it all because i had a little bit more money i came back to these skills and what i realized is they all require a little bit more either skill level or finances to jump there and i'm not saying that they don't work i actually came back to drop shipping what you can see in level three and four where i made over a hundred thousand dollars doing drop shipping coaching drop shipping and also doing facebook ads as well so these things do work but you just might not be at that level yet p.s that's okay to complete this level I actually came across a website called Upwork from one of my mentors, Ryan Ramshaw, who's now my business partner. And I met him at Iman Gaji's networking event, the only networking event I ever had. And it completely changed my life. You see, I met people that were doing social media marketing and it was really working. At the time, I thought it was saturated. I thought it wouldn't work for me. I thought every single thing that you probably thought. And to be honest, I was right. Most ways are saturated. Most ways are hard. Most ways require a certain level of skill. But with Upwork, I found out a method to get paid to learn. Because on this platform, there is over 10,000 jobs posted every single day with business owners looking to hire somebody like you to get started. And they don't mind if you're intermediate, beginner or expert. They actually label it ahead of time. And what you can do is apply for those jobs. You can even tell them that you're a beginner. You can tell them that you, you wanna do a free trial. You can do whatever you want. And it's going to allow you to get paid to learn whatever skill you want to do. Personally, I decided to start off with social media management because it was easy to do. I could use it for my phone and I didn't need any special skills to do so. Obviously, we all want to get paid a thousand, two thousand dollars a month and skip the process and learn the top five ways to make lazy money online and make passive income. Well, I tried that stuff, didn't work. So I, but I genuinely believe that this is so important for people at level two skill set. To know social media management, to be able to go on Upwork and get clients is the best way to start making a few grand a month from only a few hundred dollars a month invested. It's gonna allow you to get paid to learn. You're gonna get tons of skills, experience, and you're gonna level up because you're gonna learn more skills. You're gonna be able to test out Facebook ads, test out social media marketing, test out sales for other people, and they'll pay you and sometimes even train you to learn. OP strategy, I don't think nobody's talking about this enough. So don't be afraid to save this video, come back to it later so you can level up faster. And this brings us to level three. At this stage, you should have some base level skill set, be making money from a business somehow and on the edge of deciding, do I stay on my job or do I quit? Hey, listen, I quit. And he did quit his job. Yeah, yeah, no. It's a weird part to be at and I can tell you now 80% of the world do not get past level two they get stuck in this phase of analysis paralysis chasing one side hustle to another side hustle never committing and believing that everybody else has to sell courses to get rich as you can see from my channel I didn't sell no course to get rich I barely got any subscribers I barely get any views on Instagram yeah I still did it because I did the method on Upwork and you guys can too now level three is a weird, weird moment, right? I personally got to the moment where I was making two to three grand a month at my current business and I started jumping into different business ventures, right? I thought I was the business man of the century. I would go and work with one friend, try this hustle, go work with somebody else, try that hustle. Even my clients, I would offer them different services that I didn't know just to make more money. And what I realized was the skill to pass level three is to double down on what I'm currently doing. It's what Grant Cardone and Alex Hermosi call the 10x rule. That's where you look at your business, you find out different things such as these. Number one, what marketing am I currently doing that is getting me clients? For instance, on Upwork, am I sending 10 proposals per day? Can I send 100 proposals per day? And how much would that impact my business? Number two, analyzing my skill tree. You see at this stage, you're probably good at something, right? Because you're making money, but you're probably not good at other things. There's a book called The Millionaire Master Plan, which Lou Belmar actually gave to me, and it enlightened me on everything. You see, different people are good at different things. You might be a dynamo, 
You might have all the ideas in the world, but you don't know how to actually do them. You could be somebody that is in all the finances. You might be a technological person. You're good at the technological stuff, but you struggle to sell. You could be creative, but you struggle at business. And if you go through and look at the strengths that have managed to get you to this stage, and then you go out and you look to hire people in the skills and areas which you're not good at, and then you go and get coaching, mentorship, and you invest in what Alex and Mosey calls the SME 500. You see, before you go and invest and start other businesses and jump in other investments, you invest into what you're already good at, double down on your skill set, 10x what you're currently doing to get customers, and you will see explosive gains in your business. This is how you go from a 1K per month business owner to a 10K per month, a 10K per month business owner to a 100K per month, simply by doubling down on what you're currently doing. If you're outreaching 10 clients, outreach 100. If you're spending $100 a day on ads, spend $1,000 a day. It is possible and you can afford it. You just have to decide, are you ready to make the jump? And most importantly, guys, don't be afraid to learn, right? When you're at level three, you can have a base level set of ego, which I personally had a lot. When I started getting to this stage, I felt like the big boss of business. I felt like I knew it all because I was making more than my peers were. And that blinded me to still learning from the people that were ahead of me in the first place. The people like Alex Amosi, Ed Milet, Grant Cardone, and all of the other business owners that might be ahead of you. Don't mistake their information. Go back, learn from them a bit more. And if you need to invest into mentorship, do it. Yeah, yeah you've got to do that, man. Because if otherwise I'll zone out. Because I, I was low-key zoning out, yeah. Not intentionally, but like, yeah. when you said that, I'm like, my attention's back on you. So you'd be like, this is making sense so far, yeah? And when you're saying it, you want to be like, man, like, not overly excited, but you're like, Tyrell, we're going to do this. It's like, yo, so Tyrell, man, the TOS system, right? First phase is tested, right? And you just do it in a kind of calm, authority tone, telling them, boom, boom, boom. Like Einstein says, the more I learn, the more I learn I know nothing. The more I learn I know nothing, the more I learn. Don't let that go over your head, guys. You see, personally, I invested in mindset mentorship with John Gap, who now coaches Iman Gaji and is going to the mastermind with him. I also invested in booking in calls with Ecom King to learn about Facebook ads to improve my skill set. And I used all of that to get larger clients like Chaka Bars with Fruits and Roots. Shout out Chaka Bars, you really did change my mindset and that's a whole nother episode. But it allowed me to get higher ticket clients double down on my business and move to that five to 10K per month mark and complete level three. Now that brings us to level four. It might take you two months, six months, 12 months, years to get to this level. But by the time you get here, this is where the true fun begins because you can look around you. Every house you see, 200 to a million dollars, somebody owns it. Every watch you see, hundreds of thousands of dollars, sometimes millions of dollars, somebody owns it cars, businesses, the lot. Money is everywhere and if you take the next few steps, you'll complete level four and you will really see your life completely change. Number one, like the matrix, you can continue to live the life you already live and that's completely fine but you need to do one key thing and look at leverage in your niche. If you do social media marketing for example, how can you charge clients 10 times more for what you're currently already doing? Remember, to complete level three, it's likely that you 10x something already. So you understand how it actually works. Now think about this. Imagine if you could do the same thing, but just charge 10 times more. That my friend is what is called leverage. I'll give you an example. Currently in the space, we have startups, venture capital, and web free. All of these places have really low level social media. They don't understand how to get clients and that's okay. That's because they don't come from a marketing background. You, if you're an SMMA business owner, have a base doing six or seven figures a year, have a high level baseline skill set that you can simply charge more for social media. You can get paid in equity or tokens. You can even help them raise money and get a commission on how much you raise with, simply by leverage. And I've personally done this. I made hundreds of thousands of dollars helping businesses raise money, invest in their business. And when they sell, I make bank. You can even advise other businesses and use your skills and experience with the leverage to get paid too. Look at Alex Amuzi, for example. He doesn't manually run all the other businesses that he invests into. He simply leverages his experience and his skill set in a larger industry. And he knows 
If I invest into that business using the skills and experience that I've proven in $100 million offers and $100 million leads, I recommend you guys get that book by the way, he can explode the growth in another person's business and he'll get paid massive on the back end. Instead of having them as a client, he invests into them and he gets paid way more in equity and obviously deal flow from back end deals and whatnot. The other option, you can coach other people. This is one thing that I personally started with. Now, a lot of people say, oh, coaches, this guy's a coach, that guy's a coach. And I agree. I don't agree with the 20-year-old life coach who isn't making any money trying to tell you how to get rich when he's got no money. He's never done it before. He can't prove it. And you ask him for five testimonials, he can't give you them. On the other hand, I've been doing this for years. I've got unlimited testimonials. I've helped people literally change their life. Some of them living in Dubai right now, making over six figures a month all through mentorship. I mentored for the Ecom King, I mentored for myself, and now obviously I can mentor other people. So I completely understand about coaching. And most of those guys will fail because they skipped the process again. They didn't get to this level. They were at level one, trying to skip to level four. So once you do get to this level and you do have the authority, don't be afraid to coach other people. You don't need to be a massive expert. You only need to be one step smarter than the other person. If you've scaled a business to five to 10K per month, you can help 1K per month businesses scale to five to 10K per month. Once you help them scale to 50, 100K per month, then you can go and reach out to other businesses and scale them to 50, 100K per month. Baby steps. Coaching is exactly the same as any other business and it's exactly the same process that you started with your own business. A lot of times it's a lack of self-confidence and a lack of self-belief which stops people from becoming coaches and i have met so many people on my travels with a wealth of knowledge and vast understanding in their industry that is well worth paying now to scale a coaching business or any other business we all know the process i've been saying this since 2019 i'll pop the video up right now if you think in 2019 that the knowledge you have cannot be found on google i'm afraid you're completely wrong if somebody wants to find out this information they're more likely to go to google search it or they'll search it on youtube however if you present the information to them you are now the expert in telling them this is why we encourage you to give away your secrets for after you develop the relationship, we recommend you deliver a low ticket offer. This can be a 15 minute um, consultation or it can also be maybe an ebook or a cheat sheet so it can actually benefits the potential customer and delivers value to them. After that, feel free to go for a high ticket right now, Give away video. your secrets for free. We're in the information age. Nothing needs gatekeeping. Now there's chat GPT. Obviously there's Google, Bing, all of those different AI and search engines that people can use to find the same information that you're chatting about. So it's better for you to give it to them. That way you look like the expert and then you can sell them on your coaching services when they actually know and believe in your business, especially if you've given them results for free. This brings us to the final level. Now, is it the final level? I don't know. This is as far as I've gotten to. There are other levels such as OPM, which means other people's money, leveraging you know, billions of dollars of assets and doing all that high level stuff, which I'm getting close to, but I'm not there yet. So I can only tell you what I have personally seen at this level five. And this, my friend, is where you can finally sit back and be prepared for the amount of stress that you're about to get for managing your own portfolio. This is where you finally start to invest. Now I know it might seem like a long process. You want to jump straight to investing. You might feel like you've got no time. But believe me, we are all playing our own game. You don't have to compare yourself to other people. If you simply lock in for a few months, you can get to level five. It took me four years to get this far. It only took me two and a half years to make my first million dollars. So you can do the same thing. It can happen fast. It can change fast if you just stick to the process and believe in yourself. That's why again, guys, save this video, record it, take notes, everything, because this is the exact blueprint to get out of your current situation, guaranteed, share it with a friend, start it together, and just follow the process step by step. If you're at five, six, seven figures a month, it's time to start investing. It sounds crazy if you're not at this level yet, but believe me, when you've worked so hard to make this money, you guys that are making it know what I'm talking about, it can be hard to let it go, right? You can feel like you're the expert at making this money, 
And when it comes to investing, you look at your skill tree and you're like, wow, I'm actually not that experienced in terms of investing. So you can feel like it's not the right thing for you to do. Number one, be prepared to lose money. It's part of the game. When you come to this investing side, losing money is normal. I know when you're doing business, it can be like, right, you don't want to lose as much money. You're a bit stingy, you know, but the biggest players in this investing game really don't care about money. They just spend it. They'll throw it, spray and pray, and you'll see just how crazy it comes back. Money is a form of energy, and you really start to see that at this level. I like to use a 80-20 principle. Now, I personally started this when I was making 10 to 20K per month after I hit that coaching level. I just jumped straight into investing. It was just the right time for me. You might be making more. You might be making around the same. If you're making less, obviously it's not the right thing. Go back to step one again. But if you're at that right stage, make the choice to invest. Save 10 months worth of savings. So if it's costing you 2K per month to live, save 25 grand and everything else, I decided to invest that. 80% of it, I decided to create a portfolio just like this. You guys can steal it if you want to steal it. During the start of the market, one year before BTC halving, I decided to invest into strictly large market cap altcoins. With Google trends right now at all time low, nobody cares about crypto. That is the opportunity. The trick is, is that with large market cap altcoins, they're more liquid, they're on market, they're easy to access. You can use some of the links in the description, like Binance, Bybit, KuCoin, to move your business profits into crypto assets because we're so early as those cryptos grow your portfolio is obviously going to grow now is it going to grow straight away i'd presume with you being at this level you understand about delayed gratification crypto is the exact same yes you could get rich in a day but it's probably going to take a while and expect to be on the wall for a little bit it's completely normal trust me some of my best runs were investments like sand where i invested 5 and 10k i had to sit on that for two years, I literally remember walking with Cam. Cam, you remember this? Every single day, I'm being like, bro, should we sell? Bro, should we sell? It's not pumping. Why is everything else pumping? But this ain't pumping. Are you sure it's the right one? And I actually sold. I ended up buying back in when I came to Dubai. I met all these alpha guys and they was like, bro, why the hell did you sell? Bro, it, what happened two weeks later? 20x, right? 20 times your investment. $2,000 to $40,000 liquid. And you actually can sell that. Whereas if you invest a lot of money into some micro cap tokens, which are the lower cap tokens, which you see on coin market cap, or you might've heard that one friend, which says, oh, buy this dog Shiba coin. Yeah, it's great. But if you make a lot of gains, sometimes, not all the times, it can be hard to sell those tokens. So a year before BTC halving, which we're at right now, if you're watching this video later on, probably a little bit later, is in my opinion, what has been the best thing for me tokens which you can find by checking out my channel and looking at all the different crypto tokens you can also find them in my discord i've got a whole list of them and a whole portfolio broken down to the t with which tokens to invest into how much expected returns everything then what i'll do is after btc halving when you start to see google trends popping again similar to what we've seen in you know 2021 2022 that's when you start to see the noobs that want to skip the process start to get involved you see not everybody will follow these levels some people which is completely normal and it does work for some people will try to skip to level five and tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands of people do now in the venture capital world they call this the dumb money do i think it's done not really if you want to get rich sometimes you got to take the risk you know it obviously works for some people right that's why you see some crypto people go from working at a supermarket, they're becoming multi-millionaires. Would I call them stupid? Definitely not. But for every one person that skips the process and becomes successful, there are a hundred thousand other people which lose their complete life savings, get hacked, everything, right? Fail, everything happens to those people, right? For every one person that they see. All of those people will come into the market and they won't be interested in your large caps anymore. So if you do have a large cap, a year or a year and a half, Coming after the BTC halving, after Google Trends is at all time high, you need to start becoming a DJ. This is what I start to call the spray and pray period. It sounds silly, but believe me, you can make crazy gains spraying and praying into meme coins, gaming coins, AI coins, whatever the trend is at the time. You just have to be disciplined. So what I decide to do is I move my profits, I secure the bag on my larger cap coins, take out what I initially invested, put that onto the side and remove that from the house's money. That way I'm free rolling 
technically, sometimes I might, you know, reinvest after BTC Harvin. And then it will allow me to invest into some lower cap market coins, private sales, venture capital, everything. These are things called narratives. To be aware of the narratives, I recommend you subscribe to the channel because these can come and go and be around for weeks. Tokens like Snowswap, which is non-existent anymore, came around the 20x in a few days and disappeared. Dreams Quest, Nakamoto Games, all of these tokens made crazy gains but are now down 90%. If you are aware of them, this is where you can flip 10 grand, 20 grand to a few million dollars. Now you probably forgot, where did the 20% go, right? If 80% is in, is getting invested, that 20% is what you save for cash. I like to call this the safety deposit box for Black Swan event. There has been many similar events with a random 50% drop, sometimes more in the price of Bitcoin. These leave massive opportunities for gains in days. But most of the time, people are overexposed into the market. Their whole portfolio is already being ETH, Polkadot, XRP, whatever, and they don't have any money left. They think that they can simply transfer their cash over to crypto and buy. But what you'll find is on every single crash, all of these exchanges stop working, right? Binance will pause deposits, Coinbase will pause deposits, KuCoin, same thing. Everything starts to get very slow. It's very suspicious. I don't know why it is. Well, personally, what I like to do is I'll have 20% in USDT and USDC on these exchanges ready to buy for those moments. Sometimes you can even set something called a set and forget limit order where you can simply leave it forget about it and sometimes those orders can trigger really low 80% 60% 50% down and they will bounce in the same day sometimes the same week so that 20% it might be small now but believe me it can grow and you can flip it in a few days it will pay for your dinner and it will pay for your holidays so make sure you guys keep that tip and enjoy it so let's draw this beautiful train into an end Hope you guys have enjoyed the step-by-step -step ways to becoming successful. You now have a blueprint to getting from A to B. Whether you're dead broke with no money whatsoever, that's okay. You can take the time to lower the ego, recognize your situation and level up. I've experienced it multiple times and multiple times I've had to take a few steps back, take a few steps forward. But as always, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step in the right direction and you can do it too. No matter at what stage that you're at, you just have to believe in yourself. And if you wanna know some of the best tokens to invest into, how to make money online, and how the hell to invest these profits, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, please share this with a friend. I'm looking to grow this YouTube channel. Right now we're at about 5,000 subscribers. I wanna to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So I'll continue to deliver more and more value. And if you want me to do a specific long form video like this on any of the topics I've discovered, please let me know. I can't help you if you don't let me know, right? So I know some people wanna, they'll go crazy in the comments, but they won't just say like, please make a video about this, you know? So just make one if you want me to break down anything whatsoever. And don't be afraid, I will do it because I believe in you more than you believe in yourself. So thank you very much for tuning into this channel. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.